What's going on, Crime Fighters? It's the night, and it's time to unite for the funniest game show answers of all time. It's not too long, it's about 13 or so minutes. This was a quest of our fellow Crime Fighter, the Gaming Angel. So, now y'all know, for all those people, when you play games and you keep dying, and you want to know how you keep coming back to life, this motherfucker, right there, the Gaming Angel, now you know. They are real, they exist, and they're on YouTube. So, all questions answered. Boom. During what months of pregnancy does a woman begin to look pregnant? September. To name something you wouldn't try even once. Matthew. Sex on a train. <laughs> Sex on a train. <laughs> no. <laughs> Funnily enough, our survey people didn't come up with that one. Something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Naked grandma. Naked grandma. Naked, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Name a famous Willie. Willie the Pooh? <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Hi. You know John? Yes, we do. <laughs> Doesn't she have pretty nipples? Uh, uh, pretty dimples there? <laughs> Gentlemen, tell me, what is your favorite part of our newlywed game set? Jim? Probably wife number two. Huh? a piece of clothing wives buy for their husbands. Halter tops. <laughs> Edgar, fish love? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, wish list. <laughs> Name something you feel before you buy it. Excited. A vegetable you marinate. Grapes. <laughs> Something you might buy that could turn out to be phony. Yeah, a horse. What? The dreaded phony horse gag. Name something that can kill a lively party. A gun. <laughs> the most romantic sounding musical instrument. Drone. <laughs> Something you might accidentally leave on all night. Yes. Your shoes. <laughs> Name something yeah. people take with them to the beach. Turkey. The, <laughs> the first thing you buy in a supermarket. Uh, turkey. <laughs> the food often stuffed. Turkey. <laughs> Describe these words that begin with the letters S T A. Go. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, the 100 people to name a game you can play in bed. Steve. I spy. I spy. Something you squeeze. Peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> what would be the ideal everyday temperature? Everybody, just robe. 98 points. <laughs> Survey People, your time starts now. A group of pill pushers? <laughs> <laughs> Name a yellow fruit. Orange. Uh, Name something that comes in pairs. Fred. Bananas. Oh, we asked a hundred people to name a famous author. Penny. Um, Shakespeare. Arthur Shakespeare. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> name something that follows the word pork. You pie. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you pie. 
<laughs> Gentlemen, other than popcorn, what is your favorite thing to nibble on at the movies? Steve? Ooh, I'm gonna get shot. Uh, her boobs, I don't know if you... <laughs> Name a part of the body that gets bigger as adults get older. Freddy, penis. <laughs> Name something a man has that he'd be upset if someone else used it. How about his jockstrap? <laughs> How many decades will your husband say his mother has lived? Gloria. Ten decades. Ten decades. <laughs> Gentlemen, how many decades has your mother lived? Joe, you have a troubled look on your face. What's the matter? Oh, I don't know what a decade is. <laughs> So she'd be good. At four years, years a decade. She'd be ten decades. Ten decades. Something usually done only once a week. Uh, make love. <laughs> Tell me a slang term a that means wife. Bitch. Oh. <laughs> good answer. <laughs> you wouldn't want the police to find in the trunk of your car in pickles <laughs> name something a teenage boy can do for hours at a time masturbate <laughs> something that has to warm up before you use it sir how about your wife <laughs> For snow on her wedding day. Yes, I did. It was 32 degrees and no snow on my wedding day, but I had eight inches on my honeymoon. So. Then the parts of the body everybody has only one of. Sarah. Big toe. What will your husband say is his favorite thing to squeeze in the supermarket? Jane? I say his meat. Pardon? His meat. A slang name for policeman. Dick. <laughs> Dick. Dick. Let me see what he said. Name a state that begins with the letter M. Mexico. Ask the hundred people to name a game you could play in the bath. Annette. Scuba diving. <laughs> you wish you had a beautiful wife <laughs> <laughs> name a kind of bear a papa bear name something london is famous for i'm thinking pastas <laughs> name a question such as how old are you Just a second. I'm going to read the question. Name a question such as, how old are you? That you might answer with a lie. You, uh, I would say 50. <laughs> Did I understand it right? No, sweet Leslie. Give me another sort of question that you might lie about. I would say I'm 39. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the electricity in our home flows from the blank to the what? From the plug to the vibrator. <laughs> what a girl should know about a man before she marries him. You just got it, Lynn. What would you, what would you say? His name. His what? Name. His name. <laughs> name something made of leather? Yes, sir. A purse. You're going to be slightly embarrassed when I finish this question. A purse! <laughs> Name something made of leather that a cowboy uses. Describe the weather with a word or phrase that would also describe your wife. Wet! Wet. Oh. Name an animal whose eggs you'd probably never eat for breakfast. Hamster. Hamster! <laughs> 
something in your house, you would yell at if it stopped working? Probably spouse. <laughs> uh, an old woman's breasts. Makes it sag. The reason you might stay indoors on a beautiful day. Because it's raining? Something made of wool. Cheap. Commissioner said, I think Batman and Robin are blank. Queer. <laughs> Name a day of the year when you really want to be with friends. December. <laughs> Name something normally worn only by children. Michael. Clothes. <laughs> We asked 100 women, name something, women borrow from each other. Chris. One of those husbands. Their husbands, Chris. Next question, gentlemen, what is the one thing the people on the other side of your street have more of than you do? Cars. Cars. Your wife said they have more, more grass than you do. Oh, grass. Well, I, I wouldn't bet on that. <laughs> name a famous robber Joe um cops I said name a time that most people get up and being the Einstein that you are you said morning <laughs> when I get up our survey said <laughs> now if that wasn't bad enough <laughs> I then said name a time that most people go to bed <laughs> you said, of course, night. <laughs> Our survey said, two. You know what is so great about this show? We have talented people like the Rivera really family on our show. Paul is a concert pianist. Steve, what do you do? <laughs> I sell frozen bulls in for artificial insemination. Right, 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 Steve. How are you doing? How are you? Fine, thank you. What's your story? Well, I, I'm in young girls' pants. I manufacture <laughs> pants. The, the bottom part. One of the three bears. Yogi. A <laughs> Name something with a hole in the middle. Michelle? Hole punch. <laughs> I know everyone in America said what the audience did. What she say? Okay, fill them in. You. No, that's not saying correct. I'm sorry. Fill the blanks in order or pick a tile, Chris, whatever you want um, to do. Like, yes. Okay, fill them in. I. No, sir, that's incorrect. Okay, fill them in. A. Wrong. I've never had this happen. It's the first time. Chris? I know it. You know it? All right, fill it in. Oh, yes. I. Yes. T. Yes. E. Yes. people and ask them to name a way of toasting someone. Michelle. Over a fire. <laughs> if you could travel to any foreign country in the world, where would you go? Uh, Pakistan. Um, uh, uh, I take wrap rubber bands around my t-shirt and stick it in tie dye. Yes. Um, uh, these are the ugly hey. sandals that lesbians wear. Uh, perfect uh, size. Yes. What was the most infantile suggestion you made to your wife on your first date, Joe? Uh, why don't you eat something? All right. Patty says the most infantile suggestion was that uh, that she should, shouldn't be so... I guess that's the end of it. <laughs> How a lot of people in there, a uh, few celebrities and stuff. But that was funny. I always want to be on a game show. I want to be on Family Feud. That would be really fun. I want to know... How I'd be under pressure. And I just want to meet Steve Harvey as well. Good. I like it. Thank you, the gaming angel. That was better. You get my copy of approval. Join me in the road to 10,000 subscribers. Like, comment, and share. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, along with the rest of my social media down below in the description box. Live from Waterboro Owners tonight, and I'll see y'all later.